Hi everyone, I'm Danny Walker. Welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up, like it, share it with your friends. Why did I just say that twice? I don't know. Anyways, today's video is about how to look cute and travel light. I wanted to do this video for a while because I find myself traveling pretty much every other week and I have learned a couple of things that help with packing and unpacking all the time, ways that I can pretty much travel on most trips with just a carry-on and a personal item, which does save me quite a bit. So I want to share with you guys all of my tri trips. I want to share with you my trips. I do want to share with you my trips, so subscribe and watch my vlogs, but I want to share with you today all of my tricks for that. The first one I'm going to talk about, which I have mentioned before on my Miss USA packing video, are, or is, is, are, packing cubes. They're fantastic. This one I believe I got from a dollar store. You can get great deals on them at places like TJ Maxx and Marshalls. They're everything. They keep me very, very organized, but they also keep my clothes compact and ready to go. These are outfits that I have already worn on this trip. So after I wear them, I like to be really organized and sort of like pack and put things away as I go. So after I unpack everything, as I wear it, I repack. And then when I leave on my trip, it's not like I'm packing a ton of stuff anymore. That's just like a weird organizational thing. Anyways, moving on. One of the things I try to do is wear as much as I possibly can to the airport, which sounds kind of crazy, but it's especially important if you're gonna travel somewhere cold, which <laughs> I often do. I live somewhere freezing. I will layer literally a shirt, a sweater, a jacket, and then my actual coat because a wool coat or a big down coat can take up half of a suitcase. So I'll wear everything in the airport yes it gets pretty hot but it's worth it i'll wear all of that and then i'll also wear my heaviest shoes and then sometimes heaviest jewelry pieces um, depending on what i'm taking on my trip if you can and you are traveling somewhere cold i would highly suggest investing in a packable down jacket if you go to department stores like nordstrom's bloomingdale's neiman marcus all the high-end ones when they have their end of the year or semi-annual sales they will often put all of their packable down jackets on sale those are incredible so it's a super warm coat that you can wear it's not good if it's going to be raining you don't want to wear down in the rain you're going to be really smushy but uh, if you are going somewhere cold invest in a packable down jacket because those ones can get really really compact you can just like clip them onto your backpack or onto your carry-on or your personal item when you're getting on a plane you can pack it in your suitcase or you can wear it as i suggested that is one of my favorite things to pack when it's cold. When it is hot, it's obviously a lot easier. Your clothes are gonna be thinner. They're gonna take up less space, less layers, all of that. If you're going to be packing really for anywhere though, I like to stay within the same color spectrum for two reasons. If you stay within the same colors, so if you pack only neutrals or if for a trip you're gonna wear only bright solid colors, then you can wear pieces interchangeably. So if something spills on you, then you can kind of like swap things out, swap out a different shirt and it's going to match with your sk same skirt or it'll match with your pants, whatever it is. The other benefit is that if you're wearing the same colors, typically you can wear all of the same shoes. So for this trip, I am wearing lots of really light flowy pieces. It's summertime, it's hot. The, most of them are white and a few of them have a print on them. So I packed two pairs of flats for this trip, which is amazing and it helps me to pack really light obviously the other piece of advice i have for you which is especially important if you want to look cute on all of your trips this is a key thing this is good information pack outfits i used to be somebody who would just like grab shirts and skirts and pants and just throw them in a suitcase and go oh maybe i'll have a time for this no plan out your outfits i don't plan everything out to the day but i just think okay on this day i need a day outfit and then there'll be two days on my trip where I know that I'm gonna go out at night, so I'll just take two night outfits and then have a day outfit for each day. I don't plan like what outfit is gonna be worn on Monday and which one will be worn on Tuesday, but I do know that if I'm going somewhere, I'll pack an entire outfit, roll it up, put it in my packing cube, and I'll be good to go. And then I also minimize on 
the weight of my suitcase by packing jewelry because you want to have some accessories with your outfits to make them very Instagrammable, right? And I'll typically pack a very small bag of jewelry. Most of the pieces that I bring are going to be worn with multiple outfits and then I take that jewelry on my personal item on the plane. The last piece of advice is if you are traveling with a friend, I do this quite a bit when I travel with girlfriends, is I will call them up and find out what they're bringing and what I'm bringing so in case we can share certain items that we can do that. So obviously that only works if your friend is relatively the same size as you, but other things that I literally just called my cousin ahead to see if she packed was a curling iron and a straightener. I brought a curling iron, she brought a straightener, it lightened both of our bags. So if you can find items like that that you're going to share with somebody you're traveling with, that's going to significantly reduce the weight of your carry-on or your personal item. If you want to be really, really OCD about your outfits before you go on a trip and want to make sure that they're super cute, you can plan ahead for all of those Instagram photos by searching the venue that you're going to be going to or the place like we are in New Jersey right now. We're going to go down to the boardwalk in Atlantic City. And if you want to get some cute inspiration, you can just do things like search a hashtag or search tagged photos of where you're going. So if you're going to a really cute resort and you want to know some places that you might be able to take some photos, look up that resort on Instagram, check out their tagged photos and use those photos as inspiration so you can plan your outfits around that scenery. Thank you so much for joining me for this episode. I hope that it was helpful to you. I hope you learned a few new things so that you can look really cute and travel light for your next trip. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to subscribe and follow me on social media at Danny Walker. And I guess that's it. Until next time. Thanks. Bye. Oh, I'm so sore. I'm really, really sore.